let's compare balanced literacy and structured literacy. This is not an all-inclusive list, but I included some of the main things that I used to do and now that I no longer do or have replaced them with since learning about the science and evidence of how we learn to read. In a balanced literacy classroom, you're likely to see a word wall, which typically has high frequency words organized by the first letter. In a structured literacy classroom, you're gonna see a sound wall, which teaches kids the 44 sounds in the English language. Balanced literacy typically uses these leveled reader, you know, like when you're told that your child's reading at like a level G, but you don't really know what that means. And a structured literacy classroom will have early readers, especially using decodable text. And then we have memorizing words. This is something I'm very passionate about, and I have a ton of information on this on my page, but this is not an effective way for kids to learn to read. So in a structured literacy classroom, you'll see kids mapping words. Again, a ton of videos on this on my page. I'm guessing strategies here, I'm talking about when we ask kids to use the first letter and or the picture in order to read a word. In a structured literacy classroom, you will see kids learning decoding skills and using the features of the word in order to read the word. Okay, and then word shapes is those word coffins, like the tall letters and the long letters and the short letters, and there's boxes for those letters. Sound boxes are what we use when kids are mapping words, and they're putting each sound in a box and then spelling those sounds. And guided reading, which is typically based on those levels I talked about earlier, versus having a skills-based small group where you're assessing phonics skills rather than levels, and then teaching those skills in those groups.